Welcome to In the World of Winooski for our October episode. We are here at the Winooski Senior Center in preparation for Halloween in Winooski, a big event in our city every year. I am currently with our Community Services Director, Ray Coffey, and we're gonna chat a little bit about this important community event and what you can look forward to this year. Ray, welcome. Thank you, yeah, happy to be here. And as you can see in the background, we are uh, well underway with our carving. Um, so this is over 20 years we've been doing this event um, in the city and it's really grown quite a bit. So we are the last few years targeting a thousand pumpkins uh, carved and displayed in Rotary Park. Um, we are looking for volunteers who wanna come out and help us um, today. So Tuesday, Wednesday, Thursday, uh, anytime between 12 and eight. Um, we welcome the public to come in and help us carve and it's a fully volunteer run event um, so it's it's a lot of labor that goes into it um, we got a ton of kids inside right now school uh, schools off today so yeah everybody's welcome and the more hands the better um, to get this done um, Ray thank you for that introduction because the volunteer portion is really important it takes yes. a lot of folks to make this happen um, you know as you said it's been many years this event's been ongoing. We, we have this great display of jack-o'-lanterns in Rotary Park. Um, how long have you been helping out? So we've, um, so we've been involved for quite a while. Um, the, the event was put together initially by a group of volunteers from the community called Seasons Greetings. Um, and Sally Tipson, who is a former city councilor and sort of volunteer extraordinaire for the city, yeah. um, was really led that charge for um, about 15 years. Um, and a few years back kind of approached us and said she was done and the group needed to sort of step back because it's a big event, it takes a lot of work. Yeah. Um, and so at that point, the community services department stepped in for a year um, and kind of carried the event forward. The following year, we partnered up with our, our friends at downtown Winooski and are now running that as a joint event. And that's been great. So it's been a you know bit of a shift, but we are in the same spirit as Seasons Greetings and trying to keep that um, that spirit alive. And you know I always, I always like to say we're we're standing on the shoulders of giants. Sally and her crew really set the the bar high, and we are just try, trying to meet that every year. Yeah. So Saturday and Sunday, we will have these thousand or so pumpkins mm -hmm. lit, decorating Rotary Park. Yep. Um, how? What, what are the carving hours and there's a take home option? Yeah, so uh, curbside is available. So that's something we started up during COVID um, as many people did. Um, but yeah, if folks wanna carve at home, you're welcome to come grab pumpkins and bring them back. Um, you can drop them off anytime before Friday and um, take as many as you like. It's great when people take them home and carve them and bring them back uh, ready to go. So that's an option anytime um, we're here. Like I said, we're here 12 to eight doing carving. So folks are welcome to come by and either grab pumpkins to take home or um, come and carve here. Um, the nice thing is we, we gut them um, and prep them for you. So we do the sort of nasty part and yeah. let you do the artistic part. So it's a uh, it's pretty nice, pretty nice deal, I think. Melissa, welcome. Thank, Thank you. you for joining us. Thank you for having me. Um, so Melissa, you started as the downtown Winooski executive director this year. This is your first go with the Winooski Halloween. Yeah, it's really an amazing, amazing operation that they have going on here. I've really been enjoying my first few hours on the job here. So you've been helping with carving. Mm -hmm. um, kind of what are your expectations for the week? So I'm really excited to see how many people are already here um, because the kids are off school today. It's really been a great turnout and a really good start to the, to the carving process. So we are really hoping that we're just going to have to go through Thursday night. Um, we're doing it a little bit differently this year. We used to just, um, they used to do it in the past um, on a weekend mm -hmm. and it really seemed to burn a lot of people out. So this year we're spreading it out throughout the week um, over uh, four days. And so we'll be hopefully finished on Thursday night and we're gonna have a DJ and a cash bar here on Thursday night to get us over the finish line. Hopefully that will incentivize some people to come out and help us finish up. That's a really exciting way to sort of wrap up the, the pre-work fun. Yeah. Um, so just to confirm, We've got carving going basically from 12 to 8 each day Yep, that's down here true. at the Senior Center. Yep, down here at the Senior Center and pay attention to social media to see if we still need help on Friday, but we're hopeful that we'll be done on Thursday. Okay, and then um, so we've got that DJ party that's new. Mm -hmm. I know there's a costume exchange too that maybe started last year, but can you tell us a little bit about that? Yeah, so it's t if you have a costume that you would like to um, donate, Misery Loves Company is accepting donations. Um, and then if you want to switch out and get a different costume, you can do that as well. And that's all just free and uh, volunteers are handling that both at Misery and at the Senior Center. That's great. Yeah. 
And then during the event, so Saturday and Sunday, we have pumpkins lit up both nights. Um, you know, you can walk around, it's free, open to all, mm -hmm. but there's also a competition, I hear. Yeah, so we've asked local businesses to carve pumpkins in a theme, and then on each of the um, concrete blocks underneath the flagpoles, we're gonna display those, and then there will be a competition for the best uh, display by the downtown businesses. So we're really excited to see um, what they all, they're keeping it secret, so I haven't heard what the themes are yet, but I'm excited to see what they bring out. Very exciting. Yeah. So limited space. There's an entry fee, I believe. Yeah, it's twenty five dollars just per to team. Yeah, and then you get twenty five pumpkins. So it's a pretty pretty good deal. That is um, a great deal. Yeah. Very exciting. Um, before we move in indoors to talk to some of the carvers, is there anything else you want to share that? you're excited about or you're learning about this new event? So um, we will have... New to you. <laughs> new to me. Um, we will have a DJ and a band on Saturday night, so that should be fun. We also have a scavenger hunt for the kids that oh, starts great. at 1.30 on Saturday afternoon. So before we before we light all of the jack-o'-lanterns, um, there's a scavenger hunt so you can go and find, um, you know, a cat carved in a pumpkin or find something with Exciting. letters or words or the word Winooski in it or something like that. Um, so, and there will also be trick or treat in the um, downtown businesses from 5 p.m. till close. Five till close, <clears throat> that's yep. excellent. Yep. So there's something for everyone, all ages, day to night. Um, come on down to Rotary Park and, and check out this great annual event. Yeah. Melissa, thank you so much. Thank you. I'm super excited for my first lighting. I can't wait to see it. We really appreciate all the work of um, the Downtown Winooski organization Thanks and of so course much. our team here at the city. Um, before we move indoors, I do want to just give a shout out to, uh, as Ray Coffey mentioned earlier, mm -hmm. the Seasons Greetings resident volunteer group that sort of founded this event all those years ago. Um, you know, Sally Tipson, as was mentioned, was a big part of that as well as the Maynard family, Nan Spence, Lorraine Gabit, Clement Sharon Bissonette, Chris and Paul Frenette, Diana and Peter Diane, I'm sorry, Dion, um, Jane and Mike Viennes, Bernie and Stephanie Fragio, Leslie Turner, Jeff Brasso, Irene Bowman, Maureen Miller, and Linda Gelinas, and the support of many residents over the years. So let's move inside and talk to some of this year's carvers. So we're here with some of our community carvers. Um, do you want to introduce yourself? Yeah. Oh. I'm Mason. Um, I go to Two Roads Academy. We do a lot of like outdoors stuff. <laughs> and today we just came to carve pumpkins and just help out with the community. Have you come before? Have you done a pumpkin before? I've carved before, but I've never come here. Okay. And are you gonna, do you think you're coming this weekend to see the display in the Rotary? I might be able to. I hope so. Are you guys having fun? I'm having a lot of fun. It's definitely a cool experience. That's awesome. Thank you so much for coming down. Do you want to tell us what you're carving? I'm carving Michael Myers. Oh. So it's not done yet, but it will turn out like this. That's off to a good start. I'll be sure to look for that one. Thank you. Hi, I'm Raya. Do you go to Winooski or Two Roads? Uh, Winooski. Winooski? Are you excited to have the day off to carve pumpkins? Yeah. <laughs> and what are you working on? Um, it's, a, it's an upside down pumpkin face because I just wanted to do upside down. So. That is interesting. Yes. You want to turn it a little for us? Oh, okay. I like it. Well, thank you for coming down. Are you excited for the weekend? Will you come out and see all the pumpkins? Yeah. Fantastic. My name is Henry Wagner. Henry Wagner? Uh, I'm, I'm here with uh, Two Roads Academy. Okay. For outdoor program. Uh, kind of outdoors. Sorry. Yeah. What are you carving? Uh, nothing at the moment. I'm in between projects. Thinking about your inspiration? Yeah. Have you come to the um, the Rotary Festival before? Uh, no, I have not. This would be my first time. Your year. first time? Are I'm you excited? excited? Yes, I am. Awesome. Well, I look forward to seeing what you come up with. Okay, thank you. My name is Phoebe. Um, 
the reason I come here is my dad runs this program, and I really like to come here with him and carve pumpkins. Um, and yeah, that's the reason I'm here. Oh, my name is Zola. Uh, um, I like to come here because I love carving pumpkins, and I think I really like the body ones. <laughs> my name is Ren. My I like to come here because. I love being here with my mom and carving pumpkins. And yeah. What are you guys carving? Uh, I'm carving like this, like maybe like a some slanted eyes, and then like maybe a. I see. Like a frown face. Um, and then over here. I am carving a sun. Okay, that looks great. And I assume you'll all be here this weekend to check it out? Yeah. Yes. Awesome. And I'm going, I think we're all going to the Monoski Circle to see our pumpkins. Definitely. Maybe they'll be in the scavenger hunt. Hi. Thanks for coming down to carve. Of course. Did I'll you be Did you finish one yet? Yeah, I already finished one. What did you carve? I just carved like letters. Okay. You know? Yeah. And where are you joining us from today? Um, here, like just Winooski. Winooski. Yeah. Yeah. What's your name? My name is Yozna. Yozna. Mm -hmm. Well, we're so happy to have you all down here helping out. Thank you. Will you all at least be out this weekend to see the carvings? Um, yeah, maybe. Yeah, maybe, maybe, maybe. Awesome. Thank you. <laughs>